Current field card was released on August 13, 2015. By the looks of it, you can obviously tell it's a Markar clone. But unlike other Markar clones, Garfield Kurt was able to maintain a cult following and was worth enough to get a sequel. Yes, you heard me right. A sequel, which many people say is better than the first one. Created by Micro and Artifact Studio, the game was met by very positive reception and some people consider Garfield Kurt is better than Mario Kart. And it made me think. Is it really a good game that people made it out to be? So I decided to play for myself to see if Garf Kart's actually hit a masterpiece or if people are just exaggerating or joking. So without any more to say, this is Garfield Kart. Starting off, Garf Kart only has three main modes, Grand Prix where you tackle one race at a time, single race where you can play any tracks anytime you want, and time trial where you can race fast as you can. Well, let's start things simple. Grind Prix, 50cc, Lasagna Cup, and then we move on to the character roster. You've got your basics, Garfield, Odie, John, Liz, Darlene, Normal. And then you've got two kinda odd character choice, Harry and Squeaks. Two Garfield characters that I never knew existed. They kinda feel out of place, but overall they're fine. You can also customize your car with different looks and edges to boost your stats. There are only 18 different car parts and the rest of them being different variants. Same thing with the hats, but it barely changes the gameplay or just cosmetic use. Okay, enough chit chatting, let's start the race. Wait, the gameplay is put in simply, it's just Mario Kart. Now that I think about it, most things that I talked about before are from Mario Kart. I know I said that in the beginning, but at least I expect a few similarities towards it. But I did not expect the game to be a curb and copy of Mario Kart, and a worse curb and copy of Mario Kart. Controlling the carts is terrible. The carts are stiff and uncomfortable to control, and drifting is painfully bad. It is way too tight, and sometimes it just end up hitting a wall. And the choice of key binding is weird. Normally, a piece of game made movement bindings on WASD, it's pretty standard. Garfield Kart says, fuck that, and use the arrow keys. It's an odd choice, and it's pretty uncomfortable, but after a while, I got used to it. There are key bindings that are X to drive on forward, all to drive on backward, and spacebar to drift. And you can't change it in-game, you have to change it on the input settings. And I had to ask, why not put an in-game setting to change the controls? I mean, it's gonna be not that hard. Why isn't it possible? It's just not. Why not, you stupid bastard? Garfield Kart only has 4 different clubs and 16 tracks, and you might think that's not too bad, but Mario Kart 8, a game that came out one year early, has over 12 clubs and 48 tracks. Not even the half of it. And the tracks are generic and poorly designed, and there's barely anything memorable or interesting things about the tracks. Wow, branching path, that did nothing. Compared to Mario Kart, where each track has their own gimmick and they were memorable, well designed, whereas Garfield Kart tracks just feels like a racing track. I mean, for Christ's sake, they reuse the same desert levels three times. Did they run out of ideas after their first cup? The music is alright. I mean, sure, it's generic and not memorable, but it's not unbearable either. And the sound effects is fine, except for the character laughing effect. When a character laughs, it feels unnatural and uncanny, like they're forced to laugh. And they does that every fucking time you boost. Shut up! The only good things in this game is the art cell and the items. Garfield card art cell is pretty solid. Taken from the Garfield show, the art cell is visually pleasing, and I kinda like it. Sure, there's better art styles, like an few games that have better art cell, but it doesn't mean it's bad. Bad, it could be always worse. And with the items, do I have to explain? The Pies are just a Koopa Shield, the Lasagna is a Mushroom, the Spring is a Feather, the Perchim is a Bullet Bill, and etc. The only original item in this game is the Magic Wand and the UFO. The Magic Wand, when drawn an enemy racer, you'll switch spots with them. It's pretty useful to get ahead of the race, well unless you're in first place, at that point you might as well throw it out to get a defensive item. And the UFO, when drawn out, will cover all the rows, one that lets you continue to race while other will stop you. Yeah, the UFO can go fuck itself. There's barely any indication which one allows you to go. Either you get lucky or you don't. It's all based on luck. And there's no way to avoid it. So in one word, I don't like the UFO. But other than that, most of the items were well balanced. None of which I said was overpowered or underpowered. And that's pretty much it. I try to find something good about the game, but there just simply aren't that many. The controls are terrible, the tracks are generic and forgettable, playing on 100cc and 150cc is impossible when it getting frustrating, and playing Garf Kart is overall just boring and painful. And the game lacks a ton of replay value, making it extremely boring to play. And I had to ask, why would I play this? I have the option to go play Mario Kart. I mean it could be a good alternative if you're in a very strict budget or you don't own a Switch, but even with that, I will much, much rather play Mario Kart or any other game than Garfield Kart. 
Garfield Kart was one of the worst video games that I ever played in my life. Topping The Last of Us 2, Call of Duty Vanguard, and Back 4 Bloods, my least favorite video game of all time. When I was good 10 hours wasting my life, overall playing Garfield Kart was an agonizing experience and after playing it, I never want to play this game ever again. If you actually want to play a racing game, just play Mario Kart, it's just a better option. But even with the problems that I mentioned, if you still have an interest or more unlikely actually enjoy the game for some reason, then I can't really stop you from buying or enjoying the game. But for me, yeah, no I'm done. Anyway, if you excuse me, I'm going to go play Mario Kart to get to play Garfield Kart, so I'll see you guys later. Say goodbye, gamers.